in 1995, there was developed and approved the educational standard for a degree program, service and technical operation of transportation and technological machinery and equipment for petroleum products and fuel supply. After having been licensed for training engineers in this field, in 1996, Krasnoyarsk State Technical University opened its doors for future oil professionals. In 2009, by a joint decree of Scientific Council of Siberian Federal University's School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering and Achinsk Oil Refinery of East Oil Company, the first specialized department of chemistry and technology of natural energy sources and carbon materials was opened. In 2010, a new building accommodation school of petroleum and natural gas engineering, designed to resemble an oil derrick, was erected. Vladimir Putin, then the prime minister of the Russian government, attended the opening ceremony. Fyodor A. Berukin, PhD, SSC Chem, Candidate of Sciences and Chemistry, Associate Professor, the Director of the School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering since 2017, the Head of Major Applied Projects on Demand of Russian Financial and Industrial Groups, and the Program Leader of the first Master's Degree program taught in English in the School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering. The School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering has brought together specialists in the field of exploration, extraction, refining and transportation of oil and gas, as well as specialists in oil and gas enterprise management. Consequently, our school is represented by its dynamical development and direct involvement in high-priority programs for Krasnoyarsk, Siberian and Far East regions. Considering research and academic activity, which is one of fundamental parts of our work, each year we try to multiply the number of projects in collaboration with petroleum industries. The school is equipped by research facilities and laboratories in order to accomplish pure and applied research purposes. We are always ready to work with scientific organizations, enterprises, government authorities, which are directly involved in project implementation of Russian fuel and energy complexes. Right now, the institute has 12 departments, two extended education centers, four industrial training facilities and eight laboratories. Jointly with industrial partners, the school conducts and supports R&D in petroleum and natural gas geology, development of technologies of crude hydrocarbon processing and catalysts for petrochemical processes, as well as environmental protection. The faculty is composed of experienced and distinguished, as well as young and ambitious lecturers. One of such young lecturers is Murad Mohaev, the Associate Professor of Oil and Gas Field Development and Operation Chair. He is a member of Oil Engineers Professional Association. Murad believes that the students' training should include development of competences in most innovative technologies that are introduced into the industry nowadays. I train students in oil well hydrodynamic research, operation of horizontal and multilateral wells, computer simulation of petrochemical processes. Knowledge and skills in these fields allow students to keep up with the most modern industrial trends and be viewed as valuable employees for oil and gas companies. The first graduates of our school have already proved that they are highly competent in the fields of transportation and storage of petroleum products. 60% of the graduates are employed in the enterprises of Rosneft Oil Company. We have high hopes for the students as our prospective employees. They have first-hand experience with Vancouver industrial processes. All of them have been at Vancouver undergraduate internship and pre-graduation practical training, and we cooperate with them closely. In this regard, of course, we and the school are closely connected. As a company, we also help the school with funding, industrial training sponsorship. We establish grants for the faculty and scholarships for outstanding students.
This is Nikolai Lonzinger, a student of machinery and equipment for oil and gas fields chair. His ambition is to become a CEO of a major oil company. No more, but no less. He enrolled for the school straight from a Rosneft Secondary School experimental course, located in Bogachani, a small town in the Krasnoyarsk region. Such secondary school courses are a part of Rosneft's program of lifelong learning from secondary school through university to industry. I undertook two internships at the Vancour oil field. The first time I worked at an oil pumping station for a month, and the second time it was in a gas treatment shop. Thanks to these internships, I earned enough money to buy a car. And they also helped me with my research paper, with which I have participated in three scientific conferences. We pick up talented kids at secondary school and support their early professional development in the oil industry. They get career guidance, as well as advanced training in engineering disciplines, like physics and chemistry. Students of the School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering live in comfortable modern dormitories. They are sure to remember their university years. They are provided with all possibilities to develop themselves in sports, research and creative work. Since 2015, the school started offering a specialized master's degree program in engineering. After completing his bachelor's program and working for some time as an industrial engineer at Archinsk oil refinery, Sergei Voronkin has applied to the program which offers unique possibilities for professional development. And now he is back at his school to continue education. Nowadays you can't just go with the flow. The one who is a specialist is expected to offer innovative ideas and non-standard solutions. If you have an idea, here is the place where you have every possibility to actually test it. Sergei Voronkin's startup deals with development of an efficient system for disposed engine oil upcycling. This project is not only scientifically valuable, it is also of great social significance, as it may help to improve the ecological situation in the Krasnoyarsk region. The school serves as a springboard for young, ambitious people. But it's not the only school's mission. It also carries out scientific research for a few major oil companies. The school offers courses in professional development and retraining programs. The research and education center CBFU Corporate Petroleum Center offers a variety of resources to train professionals capable of meeting the challenges faced by the companies of fuel and energy complex. The doors of the School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering at CBFU are always open for Russian and foreign students. We have a wide experience of work with foreign students who follow bachelor's degree programs taught in Russian. Moreover, we are implementing master's degree programs which are fully taught in English. The list of programs is supposed to increase considerably over the years. We are taking into account the needs of our partner organizations and the trends of international market of education services. In order to work efficiently, our faculty members are currently having buried internships at top foreign universities. School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering of Siberian Federal University is one of the top examples of a renovated Russian educational system which is based on integration of science, industry and education. School of Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering of Siberian Federal University is among top priority university departments. As you may know, it was founded by a decree of Vladimir Putin, who personally made the decision to establish the school during one of his earlier visits to Siberian Federal University. The decree officially contributed to the primary university mission, namely, that the university is meant to serve as an academic and intellectual bridge for Russia's cooperation with the East and developing close collaboration with larger businesses and industries, which are major drivers of Siberia's economy.